Hi friends, I am back with another C++ programming video tutorial for slide hunt. Today in this tutorial we learn how to multiply two complex numbers. But before this first we have to know what is complex number. Any expression of the form a plus ib is called complex number. A complex number has two parts. One is called real part and another is called imaginary part. If we consider a plus ib is a complex number, then a is called real part and b is called imaginary part. Next we learn how to multiply two complex number. Let's say x1 is a complex number where a1 is real part and b1 is imaginary part and x2 is another complex number where a2 is real part and b2 is imaginary part. Now we multiply these two complex number x1 x2 equal to real part of first complex number multiply with real part of second complex number that is a1 a2 then give a minus sign and then imaginary part of first complex number multiplied with imaginary part of second complex number that is b1 b2 this is the real part of x1 x2 next we calculate the imaginary part of x1 x2 give here a plus sign and i which indicate the imaginary part then multiply real part of first complex number with the imaginary part of second complex number that is a1 b2 then give here a plus sign then imaginary part of first complex number multiplied with the real part of second complex number that is a2 b1 and this is the resulted number that we get after multiplying two complex number Next we see how we can implement complex number multiplication using C++ programming. Here we write a program that multiply two complex number and then print the result to the screen. So the first thing that we need to do declare a class. I am going to write here class complex. Then give here a pair of curly braces and the class definition is terminated by a semicolon. Inside the class, I am going to declare two private variable int, real and imaginary. IMAG is the short form of imaginary. Next, we use the public access specifier. Public. Here, we write a function that takes the input. So, I am going to write here void get data and within parentheses specify the parameters. I am going to write here int x and int y. Next we define the function. I am going to initialize here real equal to x and imaginary equal to y. Next we declare a friend function that multiply two complex number. To declare a friend function first write the keyword friend then return type since the multiplication of two complex number is also a complex number so it will return a complex number I am going to write here complex then function name let's say mal and within parenthesis specify the parameters I am going to write here complex c1 and complex c2 next we declare another function that will display the result to the screen I am going to write here void display void. Our next task is to define the function mal. Since it is friend function, so we no need to use the scope resolution operator. Just write the return type, then function name, and within parentheses specify the parameters. Inside the function, I am going to create a object of type complex, complex c3. Real part of c3 is c3.real equal to c1.real multiply with c2.real minus c1.imaginary multiplied with c2.imaginary. Imaginary part of C3 is C3 dot imaginary equal to C1 dot real 
multiply with c2 dot imaginary plus c1 dot imaginary multiply with c2 dot real next we return the object c3 return c3 next we define the member function display void complex scope resolution operator display within the curly braces I'm going to write C out we know a complex number has two parts first part is real and second part is imaginary so I'm going to write here real then give here plus I and then imaginary next we write the main function inside the main function our first task is to declare some objects so I'm going to write here complex a B and C here we create three objects next we call the member function get data that is a dot get data and within parenthesis we pass the value I'm going to write 5 and 2 the function get data passes two integer values and these values will be assigned to the private variable the real and imaginary here we initialize real equal to x and imaginary equal to y so 5 will be assigned to real and 2 will be assigned to imaginary similarly we call get data for object b b dot get data and within the parenthesis I'm going to write 3 and 4 next we call the friend function mal mal a b and we store the result to another object c so I'm going to write here c equal to mal a b next we print the first complex number for that I'm going to write here c out first complex number is then we call the display function for object a that is a dot display next we call the display function for object b so I'm going to copy it and paste here give here a backslash n and here I'm going to write second complex number is and here I'm going to write b dot display and then we call the display function for object C so I'm going to copy it and paste here I'm going to write here multiplication of two complex number is and here I'm going to write C dot display let's check the output build and run as you can see here first complex number is 5 plus i2 second complex number is 3 plus i4 and the multiplication of two complex number is 7 plus i26 that's it hope you understand if you have any doubt please comment on the video and if you have any suggestion please tell us thanks for watching to watch more videos please subscribe this channel slide hunt you can like my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash slide hunt and you can follow me on Google Plus at www.google.com slash plus slide hunt.